Hello, 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 hello. It's Pete Reed again from Illuminate ICT. And what we're going to do today is the final step in terms of creating our Google site is we're going to assign a domain name to it so that it would actually allow us to use a simple domain name, .co.uk, .org.uk, so that we can point websites, uh, point people to a domain name rather than sites.google.com forward slash site forward slash etc etc. So the first thing I'm going to do is if I go onto the cogwheel here for more actions and come down to manage the site, down the side here I've actually got the option here for web address. So I click on to web address and then it tells me what the current web address is for the website and it also has here where I can add a web address. However, if we just read at the top here, it says you must verify your web address before you can start using this feature, learn more. So if I click on the learn more, then what happens here is it will give me the information that I need to be able to map that site to my domain. Now we're using a site outside of Google Apps. So here it's going to tell us how to do that. Click the more actions button, select manage site, web address tab. Yep, we can see that. And then here it says we need to go and change the C name record for our uh, domain. So what it says is set the C name destination to the following address. And then it gives me the address here. So I'm going to highlight that address and then control and C to copy that address. Now I'm working with 123 Reg. So I'm going to come across here into 123 Reg and then I'm going to click onto where it says manage. Then with the speed of a wounded gazelle, it will bring up this page and I can come down to advanced domain settings and I'm going to manage the DNS. Straight on to advanced DNS. And then I can see the wonders that are presented to me. Well, as you can see, we said it was going to go to a C name and I want that for the World Wide Web. And so over here, I want to paste in that code that I just copied. Now I'm just making sure that I haven't got any blank, uh, blank spaces either at the beginning or the end of that because that is my most common mistake. And I click on to add and there it is. We've got the www.cnamegshsgoogleholster.com. So there we've got the, uh, that part done. Now if I come back over here then it says the next thing that we really need to do is that the domain has not been verified. So what we need to do is to go to the Webmasters Tools homepage um, and then we need to verify the site. So if I go to the Webmasters um, Google Webmasters page, which is google.com forward slash webmasters, and I can sign in. Now, if you haven't got an account, you will need to sign in to create that account. And here I've got a few accounts that I've already done and I'm going to add a site. And then I can type in the name of the site. So that was www. Uh, the one I'm using, overslade.org.uk. And then I can click on to continue. So here it gives me uh, the recommended method is to install a HTML file. Well, to be honest, I prefer to play with my domain name provider. So I can come over here into my domain name provider and I can select my domain name provider. Uh, and if your name is not one of those that's on this list, then you can always choose other. Now here it says add the text record below the DNS configuration for overslave.org.uk. So I'm going to highlight that code and control C. Move back onto my 123 reg panel. And then this is going to be an at. And that's a text record. And then I can control V to paste that code in and add. So if I come back to my webmaster tools, I've done that. And it says uh, click verify below. So if I click verify, congratulations, we've verified the ownership of overslate.org.uk. Straight back to my website. And I should now be able to type into here www.overslade.org dot org dot uk and add
And there we've now got that this is now uh, ready for us to use. So let's go off now. And okay then, so here we are. Let's just do a very brief recap. So we started out by saying what we needed to do was to uh, create a Google website. We need to buy the domain name. Make sure your site is set to public. Make sure you've got admin access to your domain name service, where you bought your domain name from, and to your website. Now do note that once we've got these all these settings in place, it may still take a further 48 hours before your domain name has been replicated across the world and is ready for use. Now, as a brief recap, what we did was we opened the following tabs in the browser. We opened the Google site. I opened the domain name settings page. Mine was with 123, where I bought the domain name from. And then I opened another page called www.google.com forward slash webmaster. By doing that, it just means that I can actually skip from tab to tab and makes life a little bit easier. So on your Google site, we went to more settings, down to where it says manage site, and we chose a web address. Now on the web address page, uh, it gives a little bit of blurb. And one of the things it says on there is that you must do this before you uh, you must verify the site before we enter the domain name. So the first thing to do is if we click on learn more, then what it will do is it will bring up a page that will go through all of the instructions. Now what we actually want to do is to go down to where it says uh, the domain name needs pointing to ghs.googlehoster.com. So that's where I got that address from. And what I do then is I went onto my domain uh, page. So I went onto the tab where I bought my domain name from. I came down onto advanced DNS settings and then I set the C name to gssgooglehoster.com. So now within, within my package, it looks like I would type www. I would choose C name. And then in the next box, I would type gssgooglehoster.com. And then I would save that record and make sure it was all done nicely. OK, now I need to verify the domain. So to verify the net domain, I go to google.com forward slash webmaster. If I've not signed in, then I need to sign in and then enter the domain name. So www.yourdomain name that we want to use. We click on to verify the domain name and it will give us a copy um, we click on verify the domain name by verify by domain name now um, there's, there's a couple of options in there but by verify by domain name I can just put an entry into the DNS settings and that will work just fine so we copy the code that's given to us and go back to edit the DNS settings the to verify the DNS settings what I did was I went into advanced DNS again I tapped the at sign first then i said it was a text record text uh, slash spf and then i typed then i copied and pasted that verification string in there and then i saved the record i then went back to wipe my webmaster page and then click verify at the bottom of that page and hopefully that will give you the success if it doesn't then all you need to do is to go back and edit the various settings until you do get to the point where you've verified that it does work now we can go back to our Google website. Back on our Google website, we go to More Settings, Manage Site, Choose Web Address. We may already be there if you've not moved off that page. Type your new web address into the page. So there's a little box next to web address where we can just type it in and then click Add. If the uh, domain has been properly verified, then it will actually just move it up and list it as one of the addresses for your site. Now, I don't want to witter on about this, but there is nothing more frustrating than the fact that it does take up to 48 hours before that is replicated across the world and is fully working. Now, I do say that it uh, takes up to 48 hours. On the whole, I reckon that uh, usually sort of, uh, uh, well, I've seen it working within an hour uh, and I've seen it take up to, up to 24 hours. I don't think I've ever seen one that does take the full 24, uh, the full 48. So there we go though, we have now finished setting your domain name to your Google site. Have fun, bye.